Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be uh, the, we'll be duplicating the Škoda Octavia one key, and then we'll be programming the key with the car. We are using the X Horse Dolphin machine for the cutting purposes. It's a brand new machine, and we'll be using VVDI to program the key in the car. So here the, we have here we have the Škoda key. Now we will duplicate the key. So first of all, we will go to the application. We will go to the find bitting, and we will select the car. So we will find Škoda down. I know that my car is using HU66, so it's gonna tell you now to put a clamp on a C, so I already did that. It's M2 clamp C, and now we just need to do, we just need to put a key in. So push the key all the way in, make it here tight. And then we will press the code key, so it's gonna uh, run, so it's gonna properly decode the key now. Everything is automatic, so you don't need to have some big knowledge. Okay, now it says the key, uh, the code key is success. Now we will put the blank key. Here we have the the blank key that we will be using for the programming purpose. So I will just take off the original key. And make sure that you are you are putting the new key in in the same way how you put the old key. So it's gonna be like this. So push it all the way in. Make sure is it's nice aligned. Make it tight. We'll press OK. And then it will be put pressing just cutting key. So just press now cut the key. It's gonna tell us we have some options. Okay, we're not gonna be bothering with that. We'll just do default everything. We will cut the key first on one side and then we'll change it to the other side. the percentage of the key, how much it cost, how much is it cut.
as you can see here it says cutty key completed this is uh, completed on, on one side so I will show you now when I clean this here a little bit now we need to flip the key to the other side and make sure when you are changing the key to clean these clumps they need to be clean from metal now we will put the key on the other side All you need to do now is press cut key again in the up. So you press cut in key. Continue. It's gonna cut another side now. It's bit difficult because of the light of the machine. You can track the progress of the cutting either on your phone or you can check on the machine on the top. using machine without plugged into the wall because the machine has built-in battery but I would recommend you to plug it in if your battery is not good it can stop Okay, key cutting completed, now we have been cut both sides, now the key is ready to be programmed in the car. Let me compare both keys so you see the, they are exactly the same. Perfect. Now we will go and test the car, uh, test the key in the car to see is it is it fitting actually with this key. So we will test the original key in the lock. We will test the new key. Now so we'll be testing the new cut key. Can it actually open and lock the door? So let's use the old key first. We're using the old key. Yeah, now let's test the new key. There we have the new key. Yeah. Let's go inside the car. Hey guys, we are in a Škoda car. We need to adapt this key that we already did pre-cut. So I turned the ignition on with the uh, already existed key, old key. So now it says that we have key count, that we have two keys. I want to have third key as well. So I'm gonna put in a key count, enter the key number and login pin. Okay. So. I'm gonna bring also the third key that I have and then we'll start with adaptation. Ok 
Okay, so we have original two keys over here and we have the new key. So let's start the key learning. We're gonna put key count three. I will put learn. Switch off ignition five seconds. Okay. Switch back ignition, click OK. Connecting to immobilizer. Okay, let's go again. It says that we didn't do it quick enough. some reason it, it, that it doesn't want to connect the immobilizer so we are going to go and use the procedure number two we will read the app from file so we will do that we will read the immobilizer data as you can see it's reading now at the moment And then we will write, we will make the dealer key with the from uh, file and then we will select the key position number three. And then the uh, key should work. This takes a little bit of time until it reads everything. Okay, we have our app from a loaded. We will save the file. So I'm gonna save it in the documents and I'm gonna write Skoda key. Let's put Octavia. Let's save that. Okay, now let's go back from this transponder programmer.
mobilizer data tool let's select uh, europe car uh, factory skoda octavia this one is gonna be mm, exactly this okay so let's now load the eprom dump that we saved it's in the documents let me just find it okay so let's open this okay we can see key one is used key two is used key three is not in used so we will now make key number three we will use this empty key and we will put now make dealer key we will select megamos 48 don't detect okay we need to put it in the programmer make dealer key megamos 48 prepare dealer key success it can start the engine after write back a new dump file or learn it to the car okay so add another a new key need load a new data file so please okay to save the new dump file okay so we will say now eprom new skoda octavia we will click save And then we have it over here now we need to write this eprom back to the car and then we can start the car so we go back out of the transponder chip programmer we go back to skoda special function and load file let's go to documents we need to load the new file so let's just see where did we save the new one e from new skoda bin and we write select write e from writing data okay and after this is written back to the car we should be easily start the car with this new key i mean without engine being turned off so let's see And then we'll test this baby, is it working? Make sure that you charge laptop before doing this, laptop battery, so you don't get in problems if your battery runs off. So now I did it a little bit tight. 
26% remaining, but this is gonna be written soon, so I'm not worried. Okay, we have writing data success. So, we will see now. Let's start the car with old key first. Perfect, car works. Let's turn that off. Let's start the key with the new car, uh, the car, uh, car with the new key. Okay, let me see now. It's not working again. Let's see what did we miss. So we did write EEPROM back to the car. We select. Okay, maybe we need to reset ECU in the settings over here. So let's see that. Success to device reset. Let's see now. And then successfully we can start the car with a new key. The remote is not working because okay guys the reason the remote didn't work is because i selected the wrong part number for the remote uh, as you can see on the left side we have the remote with the part number 5k08372028 ad so this remote is not for this car i made a mistake and i and i selected it and then in the end i couldn't uh, make the remote to work and then i later read the part number and i see it's for newer cars like Golf 6 or new Skoda and something like that. On the right side we have the right type of the uh, remote control for the this Volkswagen older cars. It, you can see over here it starts with 1J09597 and so on. And you can see down that it fits this older cars. Octavia 1, 2001 to 2009. So now you will see uh, in the continue of the video how I adapt this remote to the car so basically how I was able to make this to work is I have universal x course uh, Volkswagen type key and I can generate any remote I want so luckily for me I had it in a stock and then I generated the proper remote so process of ad adapting remote with VVDI take a look now Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the video. We will be matching remote or learning remote to the car. So you can see it doesn't work. The reason I decided to make this remote because the old remote also doesn't work. As you can see over here, remote doesn't work. So we will just give ignition to the car. One more time. The new remote doesn't work. So 
The best way to adapt it to have instructions is to go to this website, wikirostech.com. Uh, so we are using VVDI2 software. So to adapt this, I already did it, but I erased it and I'm doing it again for the purpose of this video. Is to show you guys how to do it. I'm using Universal X Horse uh, Volkswagen type remote key. So you need to go to 46 uh, Central Comfort Comfort module and make sure when, when you are generating remote, if you are using Universal, to select the proper one. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. You need to go to adaptation. Read channel 00, zero click enter. It's not gonna read anything in my car, I don't know why. So let's go to channel 1, that's the channel where the remote keys are stored. So we will delete all remotes by putting test value 0, click test. It's gonna give us new value now. We will put new uh, test value 1, click test, and then in your key you will press the buttons and then you will click save. So now sometimes it works from the first attempt, sometimes it takes two attempts. So what I usually do if it doesn't work from the first attempt, what I do is this. I take the old key out of the ignition, put the new key in ignition. I take the new key out of the ignition and then it works. You can see over here. If it if it didn't work for you guys from the first attempt, just go over here and redo it again to channel 1, put test value 0, press test, and then put a new value 1. If you have more remotes to learn, you need to put a bigger value. So if you want to learn 3 remotes, you need to put 3. But you have 15 seconds to finish all remotes. So otherwise you're not gonna, you need to be fast, otherwise you're not gonna be able to learn all remotes. Okay. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe to my channel for the future videos.